everybody, what's up? This is Corey from New World Witchery. Yes, this is me live in person on video, uh, which is a little unusual, uh, but hopefully not so unusual anymore. Um, we have been trying to branch out a little bit more and reach people uh, not just through our audio podcast, but uh, do a little bit more writing on the website again, which we uh, drifted away from a little a little over the past couple of years. Uh, but now, with the, now that I'm actually like done with my PhD and I'm Dr. Hutchison, uh, I can get back to writing for the website a little bit more often, uh, which I've been doing. Uh, and then we've also branched into video a little bit as well. We're doing YouTube videos, uh, partly that is inspired by uh, a couple of other uh, friends, uh, so for example, Athena Beth and uh, Chris Oropello, uh, have both really been sort of encouraging uh, us to engage with our listeners through video. But it's not just about uh, us doing video for the sake of doing video, I want to make sure that the content that we're offering you via video is stuff that you would be interested in or stuff that's valuable to you. Uh, so to that end, we're converting a lot of our old podcasts to video. Um, there won't be anything to see on them, but you can hear the podcasts. I know some people listen to podcasts via YouTube, so we do that. Uh, and then we've also got some sort of informative videos that uh, go over some of the articles that we have on the website as well. Uh, that I think people might be interested in, uh, might lead them to dig around on the website a little bit more and find some of the other really cool stuff that we've got there. Um, this video today, however, is for a totally different reason. Um, and also, forgive me, I know that the sound quality is probably not great, that I'm probably looking in all the wrong places, that uh, uh, whatever I'm doing here is, is probably uh, amateur hour. This is my note sheet, so forgive me for that. Uh, at its finest, um, but hopefully you'll forgive me that this is uh, my first time really trying to do this, so um, bear with me. Uh, I promise it, it will get better <laughs> over time. So today, uh, I'm coming to you because I want to talk to you about something we've, we're about to uh, launch. Uh, there'll be an announcement put up on the website too, uh, but for uh, an initial kind of go-around, I wanted to announce it in a slightly different way uh, via video that we are having a contest uh, we're having a, a contest where you can send in your cemetery or graveyard lore to us uh, and enter to win one of two really kind of cool prize packs that we're going to be offering. Uh, so let me start with uh, what it is that we're looking for. Uh, we are looking for uh, graveyard lore. Now that, um, you may already have something kind of in mind for that, and if you do, that's awesome. Send that to us. Um, if you don't, and you're like, oh, I don't really know anything about graveyards, uh, you probably do. You probably have more lore than you than you know. Uh, we're looking for stories of local haunts. So if you've got uh, a local graveyard somewhere nearby that you know has a haunted statue, or that people are uh, nervous about driving by, if there's you know supposed to be some sort of uh, criminal or or witch or or supernatural entity buried there, or if uh, it's reputed to sort of be a, a place of of ill omen, uh, that's fine. That would be fantastic lore to send in to us. We're also interested in things like traditions from graveyards. So if you know of some traditions, uh, I know, for example, uh, in a lot of Jewish cemeteries, they will place um, small stones or rocks on top of the gravesite uh, as a way of helping to bury the dead. Uh, coins, I know, are very common on things like military graves as well. Uh, or, you know, if you have other traditions, uh, clothing or visiting a graveyard at a specific time of year, anything like that, we're really, really interested in knowing about those. Uh, and then if you yourself have done some interesting stuff uh, in a graveyard, um, if you have, uh, you know, stories about, you know, graveyard work that you have done in your magical practice, um, I, I will say, try to make it, uh, try to share stuff that you uh, are okay with sharing, um, just, you know, for legal, for legal, legal goodness, right? Um, but uh, if you've done some graveyard work that you care to share, that you're comfortable sharing, we'd love to hear that. We'd really, really love to hear that from you. And make sure that you're okay uh, when you send it in. Send in uh, a name that is okay for us to use on our podcast or in future projects. Uh, and make sure that you're okay with using your location. Now, your location, uh, you don't have to tell us, like, the street that you live on or anything. If you can give us kind of a general vicinity, uh, you know, you say, you know, I live in Georgia or uh, I'm in the Pacific Northwest, something like that, that's fine. That's really all that we're looking for. Uh, to send that in to us, you can either email us at compassandkey at gmail.com, uh, or you can uh, leave us a voicemail on our hotline, which is 442-999-4824. That is, again, 442-999-4824. If it helps, you can remember that it spells 442-99-WITCH. But not to worry, uh, if you cannot 
uh, send in graveyard lore. If you're still stumped and you're saying, ah, I, I just, I really don't have any graveyard lore uh, to send in, that's okay. We want everyone to have a chance to win these prizes. We would just really love to get the graveyard lore as a part of this. Uh, the graveyard lore will definitely get you an entry uh, into the into the contest. But there are some other things that you can do uh, to either add extra entries uh, or to get yourself an entry if you can't think of some graveyard lore. So there are three uh, other things that you can do. Uh, if you're already on our Patreon uh, and you support us via Patreon, congratulations! You're already entered into the contest. Uh, everybody who is a Patreon sponsor gets an entry into the contest. Um, if you uh, are not our Patreon uh, patron and you still want to enter the contest, that's cool. We have other ways for you to get in there. Uh, you can go over to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you just go to YouTube and search New World Witchery, it's pretty easy to find us. There will also be links, uh, hopefully, under this video uh, and in other places that you can find. Uh, you just go to our YouTube channel uh, and like that YouTube channel. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, and then the third thing, uh, find your favorite piece of New World Witchery from our site. Uh, find an article that you really like. Find an episode that you really enjoyed. Uh, you know, what, whatever it is. Just find something like that and then share it. Share it via whatever social media platform uh, you like to use the best. Uh, we are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Um, and tag us. Tag us when you share it because it does help us to keep track of it. If you share on something that we're not on, um, you can just email us and say, Hey, I shared this article on this site and we'll give you credit for that, obviously. And then, uh, so if you do any of those three things, you will get an entry uh, into the contest. You can also send us graveyard lore. You can get more than one entry by doing more than one thing. So the more you do, the more chances you have to win. All right, so that brings us to what is it that you could possibly win? All right, so there are two prize packs. Uh, you've got one, which we're calling the uh, Wild Magic Prize Pack. Uh, the Wild Magic Prize Pack consists of... Uh, the book Six Ways by Aidan Wachter. Uh, we've reviewed this on our website. Aidan's going to be in an interview in an upcoming episode. Uh, if you're watching this after that episode's come out, then in a previous episode. Uh, it's an excellent book. Uh, goes into his, uh, his style of magical practice, which draws heavily on folk magic, heavily on his personal experiences, pulls in a little bit of chaos magic and sigil work as well. And this book is phenomenal. It's just such an interesting crunchy uh, approach to magic. Uh, he calls uh, magic dirt sorcery at one point, and I, what's not to love about that? That's fantastic. Uh, you can win the book as part of uh, this prize pack. Uh, additionally, you'll get uh, a really beautiful poster print of Tom Hiron's poem, Sometimes a Wild God, with illustrations by Remus Staines. Uh, if you don't know who Remus Staines is, she is a fantastic uh, folk artist working in Great Britain. Uh, she does a lot of illustrations that are drawn heavily from fairy tales and folklore. Uh, I've uh, collected her stuff for forever, actually. I think I've got some things back here on the wall um, that are hers as well. Uh, beautiful, beautiful illustrations. The poem is a really interesting, cool poem uh, that definitely has a place somewhere near your altar space, I guarantee it. Uh, in addition to that, we also have uh, this awesome little bottle of Abre Camino oil from Conjured Cardea. Uh, she has donated a bottle of that uh, to us, and we are sending that on to you. Uh, Abre Camino is um, a sort of a road opening uh, formula, so uh, it's great for, for sort of uh, unblocking your path and taking you where you need to go. Uh, so we'll have those in that sort of Wild Magic prize pack. We'll have some other stuff too. We've got uh, got some of these little uh, uh, protected by witchery folk magic stickers. Uh, so um, we printed off some of those for our annual mailers this year for our Patreon sponsors. Uh, and uh, we have some extras, so I thought I would share some of those uh, as part of this prize pack too. All right, our second prize pack we're calling the Hills and Hollers prize pack. Uh, and that prize pack consists of a couple of different things. Uh, first and foremost, Appalachian Folklore, Signs, Omens, and Superstitions, or Omens, Signs, and Superstitions, I should say, by Nancy Richmond and Misty Murray uh, Walkup. Uh, this is a really, really fun uh, little volume of a lot of different Appalachian uh mountain folklore. A lot of it has folk magical uh, information in there too that is going to be really, really interesting to you if you like mountain folklore and mountain magic. Uh, we've also got a copy of uh, Foxfire Christmas, uh, which is all about holiday traditions in the mountains, uh, produced by the same people who do the Foxfire books. Uh, there's a little bit of magical lore in there as well, uh, and the holidays are just magical generally for a lot of people, so it's worth having that too. 
And then we've got the first two volumes of a graphic novel series by uh, Colin Bunn called Harrow County. Uh, if you haven't heard of this, this is a great kind of like folk horror uh, graphic novelization, really, really beautiful illustrations. Uh, we've got the first two of those, uh, Countless Haints and Twice Told. They both uh, tell the story of a girl named Emmy uh, who discovers that she has some kind of magical connections uh, in her past uh, and some magical connections that will develop in her future. Uh, I uh, highly recommend these. They pull on a lot of uh, very deep, deeply rooted sort of um, uh, mountain folklore, uh, but, you know, also sort of southern folklore more generally. It's very southern gothic, kind of in the way that it's done. Very cool, beautiful to look at. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous books. I mean, you can see you can see the cover illustrations there. Uh, just absolutely, absolutely beautiful stuff. Uh, so those will be coming in this uh, price package. And then we'll also uh, throw in a little bottle of our uh, black cat oil, uh, which uh, helps helps with luck in a lot of things. Uh, you can find a lot of different uses for that, I'm sure. Um, and uh, we couldn't resist it's bl the black cat. Uh, there's a really great uh, sort of black cat uh, witch stories uh, in Appalachia as well, so I thought that kind of tied in. And again, we may throw in a couple other little Lanyapay type things, uh, things that uh, add to the overall fun of the, the prize pack. But uh, those are the two prize packs you can win by submitting your graveyard lore to us. Uh, please do send in what you've got. We would love to uh, have uh, you participate in this contest. Uh, again, the way to do that, send your uh, lore into, your graveyard lore into compassandkey at gmail.com or leave a phone message at 442-999-4824. That's 442-99-WITCH. Uh, or if you can't uh, figure out any graveyard lore to send in, you can be a Patreon supporter and get an entry that way. Uh, you can like our YouTube channel and subscribe to it. That'll get you an entry as long as you're uh, subscribed by the last day of the contest. And uh, you can also uh, share your favorite uh, New World Witchery article or video or uh, podcast via any social media. Tag us on it. Uh, we'll give you an entry that way. We're going to be closing the contest up by September 1st, so you've only got a couple of weeks to kind of get this in. But I have confidence in you. I think you can do it. Um, and if we can tell that people are, are struggling, we may extend the contest a little bit. Uh, but September 1st is kind of where we would like to, to draw the line, just so we have time to process all of that lore. Uh, because we are going to be doing uh, an episode on graveyard lore coming up in, as you probably guessed, October. So, uh, so yeah, send that stuff into us today. Get an entry into the contest. Uh, please uh, find us wherever you want to find us and continue to... Uh, engage with us however you like to engage with us, whether that's the podcast, via social media, via the website, via video, uh, however you like to. We love hearing from you. We love uh, being involved uh, with you. And we love sharing New World Witchery and New World Folk Magic with you. So uh, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you later. <laughs>